So I'm going to make a game for uh, Android. And I'm going to base it on a game that um, I remember from um, way back. Um, it's a Space Invaders game. And the Space Invaders game is built in, um, <coughs> in Java uh, using something called uh, Greenfoot. Greenfoot is a learning environment for learning programming. And the thing that I really like about it is that it's objects first. So if you think about a game, the game is played in a board, and that's basically what we have here. So the world that the game is played in is um, part of Greenfoot, and we specialize the world to make our own world for our, for our game. In this case, it looks like I have a world that uh, consists of uh, outer space. Uh, the same thing with the, the objects in the game. Um, we have a player that is the spaceship that um, does, the, does the shooting. And then we have some, uh, some enemies that are um, attacking the uh, spaceship. Uh, we have ordnance and um, laser. And all those are specializations of an actor. So these are all like the pieces in our, in our game. So we're going to move this over into Android. And in Android, uh, we just have uh, Java files. Uh, Greenfoot also has a project file that tells us what uh, what images go with what objects. Uh, we're going to have to uh, supply the images, uh, and we're going to do that by um, starting out with the space object. So I'm going to double click on the space object here. So um, <coughs> in the space object, I already have what is called a constructor. So this gets called um, when we make a new world, so basically when the game starts. And it's um, setting some, uh, making some music. And I'm just going to put it under here, and set background. And it looks like it's called background.jpg. Okay, so that's going to set the, um, the background for the for the game. Click compile. Now I'm going to go into the enemy, um, and it looks like his image is pixelated 2.png. So now you'll notice the enemy doesn't have um, a constructor, so I got to make a constructor. So I'm going to do that now. So public. And here I'm going to do set image pixelated to dot png. Just double check that I spelled that correctly. Pixelated 2.png. Okay. It seems to have compiled. Alright, so it looks like the alien, it looks like when I renamed, I, I fixed the images because there were a few of them that had bad um, like names with invalid or I thought they were going to be invalid characters. So the alien is one. And it looks like the alien belongs with the logo type 7 image. So I'm going to do set image Google type 
7.png. Save that. Compile. And the player. Again, I'm going to do public player set image. Now spaceship dash icon dot png. Counter. Um, I don't think the counter has an image. That's just this text uh, down here. On the game over, though, I need that one. Whoops. image oh oddly enough game over dot png game dash over dot png okay, now the laser looks like that's gonna be ray three dot png the frickin laser Getting there. And the last one is ordnance. Which looks like it's bullet.png. So that looks like it should be done. So we're just going to run it now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now. Uh, the next thing that I got to do, I controlled the game uh, with the keyboard, uh, to the arrow keys to move the spaceship left and right, and I used the space bar to shoot. Uh, that's not going to translate very well to a phone, so what I want to do for the phone is when I click to the right of the spaceship, I want the spaceship to move towards where I clicked, and when I click to the left of the spaceship, I want the spaceship to move um, towards the left. And then when I press on the spaceship, I want it to, I want it to shoot. So um, to do that, I've got to go into the player file, and I got to find um, the key presses. So here we've got, if the key's down on the right side, then um, I move four. If the key's down on the left side, I move minus four. And um, here I've got this shot timer thing. Well, that's fine. Uh, but if the space bar is pressed, 
then I add the um, object to the world and so on so um, the easiest things for me to take care of is um, <coughs> shooting when I click on the on the object um, in that case I just need to do um, greenfoot dot mouse pressed okay and I'm just gonna it's just a little bit um, awkward here just the way this code is formatted so I'm just gonna while I'm here I'm just gonna clean up the formatting of the code a little bit I just um, did a shift tab just um, there just to um, change the indent and that's okay oh. oh maybe that's my trouble okay so basically then if the green foot mouse is pressed on um, this object then um, I want to start shooting so let's uh, just compile that we'll go back into here reset click run now when I click on the, on the spaceship I can shoot and I still need the arrow piece so for me so click off and shoot okay so that's um that's that kind of taken care of. Now for the, um, to know if I've clicked to the left or right of them, I'm going to just take a look, quick look at some um, source code that I that I have. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big uh, fan of um, GitHub. So in GitHub or Hildred, I have a repository, Greenfoot repository, Greenfoot five things about objects and here I have a wombat Java and then here I have the yeah so this is basically what I need to do I need to get the mouse info info and then uh, find the location of um, X or Y and if um, X is greater than this X then I want it to move to the right and if X is less than this X I want it to move to the to the right or to the left I mean okay so I'm gonna go just go back into this um, code here let's move this over so I can see it and go into here back into the player all right and then right here I'm going to do if greenfoot mouse dot mouse press null Actually, um, I really want to move this if Greenfoot most press this up to the top because I want to test this first and I just want him to shoot. I don't want him to uh, move if the, um, the mouse is pressed there. So I'm going to just grab this lump of code here. I'm going to control exit up to here. I just indented it by highlighting the whole thing and then pressing the tab key. And now I'm going to do else if greenfoot most press null. And then here I'm going to um, put another um, 
parenthesis in this in this code. I'm going to do the rest of this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the most x and the most y. And that's really only the most x I need. So I'm going to do int mouse x equals mouse dot get x and then um, int my x equals this dot get x And then all I have to do is if um, so I'm going to just grab this. And I'm going to indent that. And now, so if the right key is down, so that means um, most x is greater than my x. My x, I'm going to move 4, and if the left key is down, so if most x is less than my x, And then I'm going to do um, another else if. So I'm going to make this to be an else if. Else if shot timer is greater than zero. Okay, and that should be it. Okay, so I'm going to compile that. Uh oh, mouse.getx. So I missed a line here. Um, I got to do this mouse info. So I'm just going to cut and paste this because it's just uh, one line here. So I'm going to compile. Now it looks like this time I've um, I've got it. So basically what happens here then is if um, the mouse is pressed on um, the spaceship, then it shoots. That's what this is all about. If it's not pressed on the spaceship and it's um, pressed anywhere else on the screen, I look and see if um, the mouse is greater than the um, location of the spaceship, in which case I move um, to the right, and if it's less than the location of the spaceship, I move to the left. So let's just play our game and make sure that that, that works. So I'm just going to move this up to where I can see. Click reset. I'm going to click run. And now, oh, run. Oh, here we go. When I press the keys, nothing happens, but if I click side or on, okay, it doesn't seem like it's moving very fast, so I'm just going to um, stop the game, go back into the player, I'm going to move them a little bit more. just to make them a little bit more responsive. The other thing I could do is I could make them move to where um, the mouse was pressed. Um, but I think maybe I'll just leave that. Um, maybe I'll leave it at plus and minus, plus and minus eight. Just so it is. Um, 
the way it works. And I'm just going to stop on my, my son's just arrived, so I'm just going to stop this uh, recording.